it's, it's a vast improvement from, from previous, the 2017 edition of the Charter. Uh, there are some vague and ambiguous provisions which will lead to regulatory uncertainty. Um, and for an investor coming into South Africa, that needs to clarify. Um, in addition to having, even if we did have a perfectly drafted mining charter, there are other pieces of legislation which are still touted by the government which give um, potential investors a bit of heartburn when investing in South Africa. For example, the Expropriation Act. You can't on the one hand say we have a perfect mining uh, regulatory regime which is perfectly clear, gives you um, regulatory certainty, gives you security of tenure, but on the, on the other hand you have the Expropriation Act which can virtually take away all of those rights in one foul swoop. So there needs to be consistent uh, regulation throughout the system to inspire investor confidence. Well, I think the, the industry is simply taking the boxes for now. What we've seen is a number of generations of deal. The first generation uh, deals empowered specific individuals, some of them from the political elite. The second generation were a bit more rational and you had the growth of good, successful black economic empowerment companies. Um, Arm, for example, Exaro, uh, Shanduka, as it was then known, have grown as businesses and become formidable companies in their own right. Um, but I do think now there is a focus on growing communities and growing employees. So there's a bit of better spirit of broad-based um, black economic empowerment. And that's very important uh, from a South African perspective because what we need to do, it did help uh, grow a very effective black middle class, uh, which creates more jobs uh, within the economy. So I think it is coming right. There is a realization that it hasn't worked in every instance. Um, but with that, um, there is certainly room for improvement. Well, I think it, it, it um, co-mingles a number of important concepts. For example, um, I think the first point to be made is that if you recall pre-2009, those were the uh, Department of Mineral Resources and Department of Energy were in fact one department under one minister. I think the advantage is that it allows policy coherency throughout a broad spectrum of the energy and mining space and they're very closely linked. So you could have one um, pl master plan for South Africa's energy needs and the cold field, cold field stocks and the gas feed stocks um, play a role in, in managing those energy needs. So I think it is quite, it's quite viable. It, there may be a cost in now integrating a, a department again, um, but I think long term that should be, should be the way forward.